You know, over the years, guys, I've built a lot of homes. And the one thing I've learned is you've got to be smarter than the wood. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now we can just climb up there on our ladder and slide that over and set it in place. Okay, so we know that the shipping container acts as our structural load-bearing wall, but what we need is a way to fasten the trusses to the shipping container. So we've taken time to lay out this three by three quarter inch angle iron. We know where the trusses are gonna hit. Now we're gonna weld these tabs to this before we go out there and weld them to the connex. Installing our top plate, you can see we've got a double bird's mouth. We'll be fastening the rafter to the bracket. Now you know this is just phase one. Phase two will turn. We're running a hip right down to this post, turning the corner. making more wood. 
<laughs> Getting all the parts we need, guys, for this hip. Setting up our post right here. We're gonna be doing some notching. That post right there will, will mount right over there. Carry the load across for the garage header. our hip it's going from there to there Called the bird's mouth. That's where our hip is going to sit on top of those trusses and that saddle we made. Nice clean cut too. So now we'll notch this out for our header. Loosen that one up. Got my ladder in place. This one's all set to go over here. I need to get that screw out of the way. I think we're ready, guys. We're gonna set this hip. Let me set you right over here. Let me see where you can watch. Maybe right here. Get you a good shot right here. Take me a minute to get it and get it in here and figure out how I'm going to get it put up.
Uh, let's take a closer look. We got this corner post, handles the hip, hip rafter. We need a right hand, left hand jack. Alright guys, so we got our hip in. Now we need our jack rafters. We need a right hand and left hand. 3 and 12. Got a little dirt seat cut, seat cut on it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, so for this left hand jack, I've got this board crowned this way towards me and we're going to mark it going away this way to the left that makes a left hand jack Okay guys, so we've got our right hand and our left hand jack. Now we just gotta get up there and set them on the hip. That's what we want right there. We need more wood. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Come back next time and we're going to pick up right here with these posts and beams. We'll see you later. All right, so we know that that Connex shipping container acts as our structural load-bearing wall. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. All right, guys, so we know that sh shipping container. All right, so we know the shipping container acts as our structural load, load, blah, 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 blah. Let's do this, man.
All right, so we know that the shipping container acts as our load bearing wall, but we've gotta have a way to fasten the trusses to the shipping container. Okay guys, so we know that Man, that was a lot of 